Karen's been quiet. No truck in the driveway. Hoffman Ford just hit me up. But first, I wanna ask you guys, how do you throw out a trash can? Can I just leave it out at the end of my driveway all week? Should I put it in a trash bag? Maybe I could try putting it in another trash can. I could try leaving a note on it. But then people are just gonna think I'm trying to label my trash for my recycling can. Maybe I could cut it into little pieces and hide it in other trash. Whatever, I'll uh, just make it the neighbor's problem. Big shout out to Keeps for sponsoring me for this video. I'm not gonna lie, the money that they paid me is probably gonna go to some Silverado ZR2 mods. We got some stuff lined up here already to make this thing a true TRX Gen 3 Raptor killer. You guys have obviously heard of Keeps before. It's a doctor recommended hair loss treatment and they offer a whole bunch of products to help anyone with hair loss. And it's crazy because hair loss affects two out of three men before age 35. What's great is you never have to go to a doctor and the products are delivered directly to your front door. They offer 24 seven care and support for all your questions and they have an arsenal of weapons to help you combat your hair loss. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of your hair, Keeps has you covered in addition to clinically proven treatments. They also have an award-winning thickening shampoo and conditioning system. I know my demographic, you guys are way too young to be having these hair loss problems. Keeps is consumer trusted, doctor recommended, and as far as I can tell from all of their research and data, RFR approved. Hair loss stops with Keeps. So if you want 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash RF racing. That's K E E P S dot com slash RF racing. On their website, you can see their whole arsenal of products and discuss with trusted doctors which one works best for you. With hair loss, the sooner you act, the better. So head on over to Keeps, use my coupon code. It means a lot for them and also helps me out. And I appreciate you guys' support. Squirrel's been chewing into my shed. It eventually broke through and now making a mess. I got these have a hard traps humane. We're gonna see if I can't catch a squirrel real quick. Well, that was incredibly easy. Years, I never knew there was like a lake back here that could support gas boats. That's awesome. Anyway, Hoffman Ford, right over the crest here. It's crazy. I was thinking while I was walking, this channel's gone through so many uh, evolutions, it seems. Uh, it started off with a Nissan, then went to, what was after Nissan? The Dodge, the Dodge Dakota. Then went to a Chevy 2500 with a 6.5 liter diesel engine. And then we went to a Ford Mustang. And after that, went to uh, the Colorado ZR2. See the Hoffman is a uh, Ford dealership up here. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know, this is like, everyone says the channel needs this, it needs this. It's like the truck is broken, the ZR2 is, is broken and I literally cannot get parts for it. It seems like the front differential is what's broken on it. And they don't make replacement parts for that just yet. So I'd have to find one used and how many totaled uh, ZR2 Colorados are out there because you can't just use a regular Colorado's front diff because they're not locking diffs. So it becomes very, very complicated. So if anyone has a beat, I'm always asking you guys for advice, but a lead on a total ZR2 that's front diff would be available, I'm gonna need it because until then, my truck's essentially worthless because trucks, as we all know, in two wheel drive, no matter how big the tires are, if they don't have weight in the back, it's useless. So yeah, this is gorgeous. Now driving by, it just looks like so almost a plain Jane F-150. I got Nate here, Hoffman. He's helping us out today. But yeah, we have the Roush badging on this thing. I don't know, man. They have an incredible deal on this. So my proposal was essentially uh, the ZR2 is in the shop. Yep. It's broken. It's unrepairable at the moment because they don't make the front diffs for it right now. It'd be nice to go back to Ford because I traded in my Mustang. And then to still stay with the truck game, get a pretty cool one in my opinion, a Roush. See, that's sick. We got the Roush uh, little tags here, just like they would on like a Mustang. That's awesome. Not really diamond stitching, but pretty comfortable looking package here. This is meant for the off-roading. So in the F-150s, now this trimmer, I don't know if it has it, they have the diamond stitching leather. Gotcha. This is more meant to take a beating on it. A little more durable. Yeah. They got the fold down. It looks like, like this folds down to the center console, the shifter, right? Yep. Nice. Nice. See, that's awesome. Huge interface. Chevy, I really wish that they would step their game up because it even seems like on the Silverado ZR2 that I'm planning on getting, it's not gonna have an entertainment package like this does. You have a huge panoramic sunroof that's half open right now. You're not gonna have front locking differentials. It just doesn't come on full-size trucks like this. Even the Raptor doesn't have true front locking differentials. They have, I forget what it's called. It's like Ford's uh, stability front differential. It's like a smart differential on the front, but still pretty cool. Uh, you stick with, instead of it saying Raptor up here or just Ford, you have a Roush badge. Uh, so I'll start this thing up for you guys. And you guys give me your opinion on if we should get this. Even looking at the trimmer here, the F-150, just to have another little beater that wouldn't be as expensive as uh, getting the Silverado ZR2 with something to hold us over for the time being. This might be coming a little bit out of left field to just purchase an F-150. I've never mentioned these before. Uh, I apologize about the road noise, but 
They have a pretty good deal on this one. They're very expensive trucks. Trucks in general are expensive. They've been expensive for a very long time. And with this, it's sort of like the Bronco where you have a few little hidden details. Like every single F-150, not just the Roush, just have these cool little American flags on both sides. I think you can get this as like a blackout too. So you just have the lines here, uh, but everything else is blacked out and not chrome to match the rest of the interior. And then you have stuff like this where it's looked like uh, a city outline. I don't know if that's Detroit. Pretty cool little Easter eggs. And then stuff that you don't normally see on these trucks that would come stock. You have this American American flag on the back here. I don't know how long their tailgates have been doing this, but you can see it's like a ruler. I'm assuming if you want to go fishing or even if you're out for whatever reason, you don't need that insane of a ruler uh, to cut lumber or something like that out on the job site. They of course have the smart tailgate signed here by Jack Roush. I didn't see this on the front, but it looks like the rear is a two-tone for the interiors. It would just be sick to get something, just a nice truck to drive around in that I'm not going to beat up because the ZR2 Silverado is going to get destroyed just like the Colorado did. Because uh, it, it's just the way YouTube goes. It has to be put to the test. We've already hired people to ship the trucks out in September to go to Colorado and take them on an insane off-road course. So uh, hopefully the modifications are done to it by then because I have big plans for the Silverado ZR2. Uh, but just to have a nice truck to just bop around town, uh, go to Home Depot in that doesn't isn't wide body kit or supercharged. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to give too much away there. But we have so much that we're planning on doing with the Silverado ZR2. Um, serial number here with the American flag. Seems to be a theme here, the American theme. They even have it on the dash down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll put an arrow up. And then the Roush logo right here below the speedometer. And then of course, Roush stitching on the uh, on the headrest. I'm, I'm definitely impressed just because Roush is a very reliable company, but it's just insane to me. We have the sticker price here. So just to get a F-150, you're looking at around $58,000, $59,000 for something of this quality. And then they tack on a $16,000 Roush Upfit package. That's what it's called. And you're looking at $75,000, $76,000 MSRP. Granted, this is a beautiful truck. It's it's definitely worth that. This is something that people are like, I would never pay that much for this truck. It's gonna be worth that much. These are one of those things that's like, this is the Roush edition. It pops a little bit more whenever you go to resell it or anything like that. And trucks hold their value in general. So with the Roush, you'd expect maybe a supercharger or something crazy like that. Unfortunately, you just have the 5.0 liter V8. So you're still getting a lot of great power out of this machine, but you're definitely not gonna be seeing the power levels that you would see out of a Raptor or TRX. One thing that the Roush does have going for it though, is this insane custom Roush exhaust. And this does come factory on these Roush edition F-150s. Definitely sounds pretty good and that wasn't a true blue cold start because uh, this vehicle was moved this morning around the shop and then put on display here. Uh, so the engine is all warmed up. I understand there was a little bit of white smoke still coming out of the exhaust tailpipe. Alluding to that, it was uh, pretty cold, but no, this everything was up to temp, so you're not even getting the true sound of that exhaust. So very good sounding 5.0 liter engine. I know that this is confusing. This has just been on the lot now for about two weeks and I've just been like, man, I've I could see it happening. I could see owning a cool truck like this. The Silverado ZR2 is gonna get beat up. Another thing I noticed here is we have the Roush wheel setup. So, I mean, these are just, it's so cool how much on this truck is actually Roush. Also has Fox shocks in here and springs. The whole suspension system beefed up a little bit for this thing. And another option we have over here, the F-150 Tremor. I love the name. I, I, I like Ford's names for vehicles. The Raptor, the Tremor. Uh, Dodge has been good with the TRX and the Rebel. Chevy, I guess the ZR2 is pretty cool, just paying homage to uh, some of their old trucks. But the F-150 Tremor here, I don't have the keys to start this thing. This thing looks beautiful too. I normally see these in the F-250. I think that the F-150 Tremor edition here is brand new for this year. I don't. I think this is the first year that they made them. I don't know that for sure. Prove my point here, you can sort of see through the, uh, the glass glare that they do have the little American flag badge on that, color matched with the, seems like the orange theme that they have going on. I stand corrected though. This is $83,934 and this is the diamond black package. It looks like they have a market adjustment on that for $7,500. So MSRP on this truck used to be $74,000 and we're almost $10,000 uh, over MSRP and the reason for that is just the way the truck market is uh, It's insane and it doesn't seem like that's gonna go away for a very very long time Like I said, this would be for practical use not for off-roading. I'm sure these things would definitely see dirt if I got one I'm definitely more towards the Roush now. I look at this thing uh, and the price for that matter The Roush's wheels just make it and I'd be keeping it mostly stock. There wouldn't be that much I would change on these trucks. It would be pretty simple It'd also be nice to get back with a uh, 5.0 liter engine in the truck. Nate will be around here Hoffman Ford 
I'm thinking about pulling the trigger. I'm gonna wait till this video goes live. I have no reason to be out here clickbaiting and faking like I'm gonna buy a truck. There's absolutely no reason. I've already pre-ordered the Silverado ZR2. I put well over $10,000 into the Colorado ZR2. Uh, and it just, it seems like this would be a nice little addition to the channel. The trucks are always successful whenever they come to the channel. The 2500 6.5 liter that I had was amazing. The Duramax was also amazing. And I've never dabbled in Ford trucks and it seems like the Raptor has been done so much. Why not just change it up a little bit here with an F-150? And who knows, maybe we'll build it. Maybe maybe I don't keep it stock. We do this to actually make this like a race build. Build on the 5.0. You get a little Roush Performance coin purse. I don't know what this is. Forgot to mention the truck, he has a Roush logo on it. So big shout out to Hoffman Ford. They let me review one of their Broncos. They had like a demo Bronco here. I, I'm sure you guys remember that video. And the reason um, that I didn't buy from here was because none were available. So they were nice enough to let me come down here, film with the Bronco. And the, unfortunately the dealership that I was purchasing from, if you guys wanna watch all that drama, uh, the dealership scammed me is right up here. You guys can check that video. Actually, it's over here. I always do that. The video is up here. Click on that tab and you can see just that mess of a video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. You can voice your opinion there as well. Also, the giveaway is going on right now at InChainDesigns.com. Got a couple of my shirts on the screen here. Anything you buy, energy to win the limited edition Ignition Edition TRX. That thing, I think, if you win, is going to be worth over $1 million. I'm not kidding you. Uh, probably in, I know it sounds crazy, 10 years, I could easily see that truck being worth a $1 million. So if you guys hang on to that and keep it nice and just somehow not sell it, you'll be a millionaire. I can assure you that. Yeah, it's simple. We get the Roush F-150, build it up maybe a little bit, maybe not modify it too much. I don't really know which direction to go with that vehicle. All I know is I need a reliable daily that I'm not going to abuse the living crap out of. The other option is... We have a less reliable daily that's super cheap because I've been scouring Facebook Marketplace for a Chevy 1500 from like the 90s, like 89 to 2000, whichever, I think it was 2000 was the last year they made the square body. Something like that would be perfect to just keep nice and clean. Something like I have with the 2500 diesel, except less miles, probably the gas variant because they're a little easier to find. Four wheel drive, the extended cab, short bed would be absolutely perfect. What's that, Mia? You wanna tell me something? 4,000 likes. If we get 4,000 likes, I have to drop the rap video. Gotcha. Make it happen.